promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome to another quick shot review. And if you don't know what a quick shot review it is, a movie review, a dedicated movie review for the channel Quick Shot Reviews in association with Cheap Shot Entertainment. I'm your host Luke, you are the Cheap Shot Nation. And today I'm going to talk about The Fablemans, the newest Steven Spielberg entry to the big screen. And it is about the big screen, another film that's about the big screen released in 2023 although this is billed as a 2022 film um it's only just been released here in the uk uh happens to be one of the best movie going experiences that i've ever experienced in a very long time steven spielberg is an absolute master i don't need to introduce him just the mere mention of him is just enough to get you to go and sort of have a look at this one but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the main part of the video after the introduction and uh, i will give you my thoughts on the fablemans Fablemans is a 2022 film directed by Steven Spielberg where we follow a young boy, Sammy Fableman, who wants to make film. He is traumatised quite early on by a film that his parents make him go and watch and one particular scene sort of gives him nightmares. He's, he's having trouble anyway. And that particular scene gives him nightmares until it is a uh, a toy train set that that is given to him, and he recreates that particular scene with his dad's camera, um, and uh, then basically just enjoys using the camera this this film really resonates with me as a uh, uh, someone who struggled at school uh, with a lot of things finding art in general was a massive step forward for me and uh, it feels like I'm living this film all the way through it whilst I'm not a full video director film maker or whatever my art was photography it just opened so many worlds so many doors and that's why for me Fablemans is is just a wonderful wonderful film like I say we follow a family um, who are really loving and the dad is really smart he's got a good job but he keeps getting uh, moved around for his job, taking pay rises and better jobs, better positions. Obviously, that means that the family moves with him all the time. His wife is resenting this because she doesn't want to move around. The kids are the same. Obviously, they're changing schools. It is a Jewish family as well uh, in the 1950s slash 60s. So, not as well accepted as they are now. So there is a little bit of that playing into it, the anti-Semitism. But, I mean, it is <clears throat> a, a wonderful take on filmmaking in general. And you just follow the path of this young young lad who just wants to make films. And that's all he wants to do. And he's learning and you see all these scenes where he's putting these films together and the hokey effects but they're good you know he learns all the techniques and it's just it's just a wonderful wonderful film it's heartwarming uh there's 
things in there that, you know, will get you gasping. There's other stuff in there that will make you laugh. And it's howling with laughter because it is funny. And, uh, yeah, you just want this kid to get what he wants in the end, you know. And uh, it's all expertly played by the ensemble cast and it's it's wonderful michelle williams plays mitzi fableman that is the mother gabriel labelle gives an absolutely fantastic performance as sammy fableman paul dano comes in as bert fableman <coughs> to go from playing the riddler in the batman to playing uh, a stern father figure um but a father figure that wants his children to succeed is is phenomenal. Shows his acting range. You've got Judd Hirsch playing Uncle Boris, who's the um, almost like the hard line of the sort of adult characters here, um, because he followed his dream uh, and says something very profound. Your art if you don't follow it it will end up killing you if you don't follow what you want to do and for a lot of people that is absolutely true um because you'll wonder what you didn't do um and it's part of the reason i make these videos because i've got a nine to five job but it, this gets me out this gets me doing something on a weekend, going to see films, I love films, and it gives me a chance to put my thoughts onto a podcast for you to listen to. We also have Seth Rogen as well in there, um, looking very different the last time I saw him. He's done really well in his uh, weight loss treatments and stuff, but I mean, it really is just a full-on masterclass of cinema. It really is. Um, Oscar winning performances in my opinion. Uh, from quite a few of the cast here. And it is very, very much worth your time to go and see The Fablemans in the big screen. Because it is a film about the big screen for the big screen. And even get a little message from Steven Spielberg himself. Um, who says this film is a love letter to his childhood, um, which is, you know, it's pretty much implied Jewish family, one child wants to make films, uh, and he just, you can see the joy in him doing it, you know, some kids want to be uh, in the fire service, some kids want to be in the police, other kids want to score a goal at Wembley, some kids want to be professional wrestlers uh, and some just want to be artists you know they're good at what they do let them do it within reason and support them you know it's a big thing if you've got a child that wants to particularly do something support them through it you know don't tell don't ever tell them they can't because when they do it'll make you look daft uh, and I know this from personal experience because I was one of those kids that I was told that I couldn't do a lot of stuff and lo and behold here I am I'm doing it so um yeah just follow what you want to do that is my warm message for my cheap shot nation today but the Fablemans like I say definitely worth your time beautifully made some fantastic performances uh, the setting of the 50s and 60s, you, you really feel like you're there. Uh, there is some high school stuff in there as well, uh, just to throw it in there. And uh, obviously the family unit exploding and, and just not being uh, as solid as we first think they are. And that, that story unravels quite well as well within the main plot line. So... It is just a wonderfully made film and my cheap shot rating is go watch it because you won't regret it. And that is it for The Fablemans, a 2022 film from Steven Spielberg. You are the cheap shot nation. I have been your host, Luke. Thank you very much for listening to the 
Talk is Cheap podcast or the Quick Shot Reviews uh, channel on YouTube. And uh, we've got plenty more where this came from. So I'll see you next time.